So technology integration, another strategy. We need to make sure that we are getting with this and up to date because otherwise you're going to be left behind. This is how the multiple seven figure, eight figure healthcare companies around the world, they're using technology because it's improving their systems, their processes. The staff are happy with it. The clients are happy with it. The company is happy. You can, you can automate things and make things faster and quicker. So the use of technology such as healthcare technology, computers, mobile phone devices, software, social media is huge, huge, really good way to learn about getting clients is through social media. AI can enhance the customer's experience and increase engagement. So what technology integrations do you have in place? And I'd like you to put in the chat box now what technologies that you have in place currently that you're using. I'm just going to give everyone a few seconds to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying hi to everyone as well. So can you type in the chat box what technologies that you're currently using in your healthcare business? Are you using computers? Are you using software? What mobile devices are you using, for example? AI is, is really good. I know um, some people don't agree with that at the moment, but it is the future. And like I said, you don't want to get left behind because when you are working with organizations, especially for contracts now, when the contracts are getting more than, say, 350000 for one contract, I'm not saying multiple um, service users, for example, you will need to explain what technology that you are using, what systems you have in place. Also, what is your contingency plan for when these things don't work? Because believe me, they will, that will happen. And that's why you have um, servers, you have companies that can help you, support you in your technologies that you have. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So, Think about this, when you're ready to apply for contracts that are larger size contracts, what computers, what technology do you have? What software do you use? Do you have any AI software to enhance the customer's experience and increase their engagement? Could be a questionnaire, it could be lots of different things that go out automatically when you know shifts have been done for the week send a quick you know quality assurance where it's just automated to the client that you've done business with okay this is how you can you can engage with the customer's experience so data and analytics collecting and analyzing data can help come customers sorry companies understand their customers better and make data-driven decisions to improve the customer experience. So like I just said, you can send out a email, which is on automated through your software to a customer that has used your services for the week. And that software can create multiple different types of questions, different types of surveys for a particular staff member as well. And it will make the staff member feel good providing it's positive, as well as you can also see if there's any issues coming up to protect the service user or to the client, for example, okay? So for example, you can speak with multidisciplinary teams, government organization to find out what the needs are now. Check data in your local area. You can email organizations 
you know, like social services, um, multidisciplinary teams, the integrated care boards, for example, government organisations. The CCG in the UK, which is the clinical commissioning team, is no longer. It is the integrated care board, the ICBs. In the States, there's different organisations that you can approach. Because when you're looking at applying for home care registration, you must as a, a due diligence to respond to the organizations that you're going to be getting work from, i.e. what is the need that you can assist them with, not what you want to do. What is their current need that you can help fulfill them with right now? What are they short on? It could be rural areas. It could be a specific level of service, complex care, they may be short of in that region, for example. So this is something that all of you must do, whether you are a recruitment agency, medical staffing agency, whether you're a home care agency, whether you are providing supported living, assisted living, accommodation, you need to approach the organizations. You've got to do your research to find out what they are struggling with because there's no point you doing something that they've already got lots of um, agencies doing for example find out what they're struggling with by emailing them for example and explain it introducing your company and at the same time they will hopefully respond back and say what the need is that they are struggling with and that they would love to work with you, okay? So remember that. So that's another aspect, data analytics. That way you're building up a database of clients that you can approach as soon as you're registered, but you keep that communication open. Once you've emailed a potential client, social worker or whatever, and they've responded back, you respond back and you say, thank you. I appreciate the time that you've taken to respond to my email. I will be in touch soon once the regulations have been approved. If you're not uh, regulated, then, you know, if you're doing home care, but you're not regulated, you're providing personal assistance, for example, then you can start the work straight away, for example. Also, they may have private clients that don't fit the criteria for funding. So it's private pay. So they can pass on your information to a client. So they may respond back and say, hey, I'll pass this on to one of my colleagues or yes, uh, we do know of some clients, I'll pass these details on. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Do all of these things to help increase your business as well don't just stick on one road there's multiple roads that you can go down to get work in it's about multiple streams of income so like i said check out data in your local area the councils will give you information about where the where they're lacking or where there's a shortage, where the need is. And that is your duty as a director is to go to multiple teams, organizations to see what the need is so that you can help serve them, so that you can supply staff to that need that are qualified. <laughs>